Uh, well, I think we got beaten around the contest and um, Geelong were much better at us with their pressure around the contest first of all, their ability to win the ball and then get it going their way. Uh, right from the start you could see they were, they were better than us in that area. I thought we hung in there for a while but um, if you look over the whole of the night there's no doubt they beat us you know, pretty heavily in that area and I just don't think you can compete in a game of football if you if you don't get that area right or you don't at least break even in that area. So we, um, you know, I'm not sure what the tap outs were but Tom seemed to do a pretty good job with those tap outs but we didn't capitalise on ground level and they outnumbered us at most contests around the ground. What do you think that was? That's an area you have prided yourself on this year? Yeah, we are actually poor in the first half last week. Uh, so we have to have a look at that um, as to why we've been beaten that area two weeks in a row. Um, and we came up against a very good side who, you know, who have won the last four weeks in that area and, and were better than us at, at it. Um, specifically why. I'll have a look at the tape and, and try and work it out. But, you know, part of part personnel, part appetite for the contest as well. Along with the contested ball, James, um, Disposal efficiency, uh, that must be uh, an area of concern for you at the moment. It seems to have slipped off over the last four or five weeks. Yeah, I think it's uh, disposal is a lot about what the opposition is doing as well. I mean, you, you, there's certain times we didn't take the, the options we should have taken. The easier option we tried to kick than the harder kicks. But um, I find a lot of the time, you know, I think outside's a good kick, and got good kicks in our team. But when the pressure from the opposition is as it was tonight, it's very hard to kick it well. Um, and a lot of the time when you're trying to attack from defence, you can get pinned in an area and it's hard to get it out. So I thought in the inability to win the contest and the clearances mean we we're attacking from defence a lot, which, which is very hard to play a you know, rebound game the whole time. Is that it? No. <laughs> Got off easily. Yeah, Stu's all right. Stu, um, Stu's come off two weeks of, you know, he's had that sore knee um, from early in the year, which we sort of gave that a fair rest during the two-week suspension he had. So I think he's just adapting to the game. But no, Stu's got through the game OK. James, you got to within nine points there um, in the second quarter. What really went wrong at that stage to have such a sort of dramatic momentum shift there? Was it just those those goals that caught you on the break before half time, or was it just something else like a I don't know, just a, a dip in intensity or something? I think all night we were very easy to score. Once we got into our fifty, we were easy to score against. So their ability to rebound it out of our attacking fifty and score a goal. Um, you know, a lot of reasons for that: pressure on the ball, the ability to set the ground up and defend it. Um, and their ball use um, meant that they kicked those two late goals. And I think that hurt us most of the night, other than the contested side of the game. They were taking it out of their defensive 50 far too easily. And that's a, that is an area of, of concern um, for us. James, I'd actually noted a lot of positives to come out of this game, but uh, to see Tom in that third quarter um, play a role that we might have seen from someone like Paddy Ryder in the past, I mean, is that one of the silver linings that comes from all the injuries that come across the last year? Yeah, and Tom can talk to this himself and hope he answers it honestly. But, you know, I've been very tough on Tom and, and the way we've, you know, made him earn his games and the way we've trained him and, and challenged him to be a better player, not just a, not just a, you know, an OK ruckman, but one of the best ruckmen in the competition. And I've talked a lot about um, when he does play, to be able to play at a high level and I'm going to, you know, make him earn his games. And I thought last week he was in the top five, you know, on the ground. And, and this week for us, he was certainly one of our better players and, and dominated. Um, at certain times, the tap outs kicked three goals. It's a credit to him. Um, we probably just needed a few more players standing up like he did. I also thought when Scott Gumbelin got his chances, um, when the ball moved pretty quickly, he showed a bit as well. So Scott continuing to get better and, and adapting to AFL footy is, a, you know, is another positive for us. Tom, did you feel like you had a bit of responsibility in that third quarter? I mean, Geelong had so much of the run, but uh, you seen a bit of the go-to man down there. Did you feel you had to fight him? Um, yeah, I think in that third quarter it was uh, heard he really put it us in the midfield to uh, to try and change the game a little bit. And um, I suppose you lead from the front as a big fella, and uh, I was lucky enough to, to get on the end of a couple. But um, it's kind of hard to change the momentum when they when they're such a good team like they were tonight. Tom, how frustrating is it as a ruckman that uh, you're winning the hat at hit outs, you're, you're doing the hard yards there, but then suddenly the, the clearances are going the other way. You're sort of seeing your own tap outs getting sharp and things. Yeah, it's tough. Um, Geelong were really good tonight in, in reading our reading our hit areas, and it's a credit to them, I guess. But uh, 
we'll have to have a look at the tape and, and see where we can get better in that area. Hmm. Are they? Oh, I think they are. Yeah, yeah. I think that they their pressure was better than ours, but I don't think um, I wouldn't doubt our players' toughness. Yeah, they did, and I think it's a sign of you know how good we have to get. But we certainly didn't come up to the mark in the pressure and, and how we handled that pressure and how we applied it onto them. Um, so that's a, a great learning, a great lesson for us as a team. Um, how good we need to get in that area. Um, I'm glad to a certain extent we got it now and not in the final like we did last year. You know we got a lesson, um, so. It's good to get the lesson, but we need to learn from those lessons. And, and you know, we're a fair way from being where we want to be. Um, and whether you guys believe it or not, um, we want to develop and we want to learn. We want to get better every game we play. And we learned something tonight. We played a really good team. We didn't come up to the mark. And the great thing about the rest of the year for us is we play another outstanding team next week, another outstanding team the week after. And we're going to find out a lot about ourselves and how good we are and how much we learn. Uh, through the year from the next six weeks of the season. No bigger challenge than the Hawks next week. So their pressure will be great. They'll move the ball really well. They've got a potent forward line. It's right in front of us, you know, how good we need to be. So that's exciting. It's exciting for me and, and I hope, I know for our group, it's exciting to be able to look forward to another big game next week. James, I guess you're basically saying it's almost a crunch time this season now, is it? Uh, I don't know what, what a crunch time is. I mean, uh, what, I, what I know is that we'll learn something out of tonight. Disappointing. Like, I'm not, not um, giving our players an out or our coaching staff an out or our club an out. Tonight was very disappointing and we didn't come up to the mark. But next week we get a chance to come up to the mark again and, and we'll see what happens. So uh, crunch time, I, I don't, I'm not sure we use that term, but it's a big game for us. Mm. Just on the, Last one, guys. So just on the Cats, you showed their skills in a way of they're as, uh, they're as good as we've played this year. Um, or, you know, uh, it was a bit about maybe didn't win, we didn't come up with the mark, but in terms of the, the way an opposition pressured us around the ball and defended the ground and then were able to move it through their, our midfield, that was as good as we've played. So we've got some very good players and they're 15 or 16 Premiership players in their, in their side tonight, so I can't see why they're, they're not right up there with the best. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.